It's early December. A massive winter storm is pounding the eastern United States. Well, this is a pretty interesting weather pattern we have for this time of year. We're getting uh, a mixed bag of uh, precipitation and, and weather across the eastern United States. For most people, the winter weather is no more than an inconvenience. But for those who fly, the bad weather can be deadly. A Continental Airlines commuter plane with 48 people aboard crashed into a home in suburban Buffalo. No survivors. People are making life and death decisions every day uh, based on the weather. Should I go or should I not go today? And, and once they're up in the air, how am I going to make a decision in the next five minutes that's going to keep myself, my passengers, or my aircraft uh, out of harm's way? On this day, flights from New York to Houston have been delayed and canceled. Thousands of travelers are affected. That's largely because the people in this room have decided that it's unsafe for pilots to fly in this weather. Our mission here is, is to provide safety and safe flying. What's happening now, it's an existing condition, so. It's like some mm -hmm. discreet supercells in there. This room is every pilot's first line of defense against getting caught in a storm. It's the federal government's Aviation Weather Center in Kansas City, Missouri. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, the meteorologists in this room scan the skies across the United States for the weather that can bring down a plane. The storm they're tracking today is just that kind of weather. What we're monitoring is a lot of severe weather in the uh, Carolinas and uh, continuing to get severe thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings there. The meteorologists have detected thunderstorms moving towards Atlanta, Georgia. They've warned pilots and air traffic controllers of the looming danger. The result is immediate. So you had, you had planes that were on the ground that could not take off. Uh, then you had planes that were arriving that were unable to land. And then you have to factor in that they were going several hundred miles around this, this line of thunderstorms. Today, the people who work here have to find a way to keep planes out of the storms that are rolling through the south. As traffic managers, we need to work with the FAA in, in routing safe routes for aircraft to go around those thunderstorms because they just can't go through them or over them. So using these two images together, we can get a, a good three-dimensional or even four-dimensional picture of the atmosphere and how moisture is moving around in there. Thunderstorms are a lethal threat to pilots. The clouds that contain them are massive. They're usually much too tall to fly over, and the weather inside them can be treacherous. In no instance does any aircraft want to go into a thunderstorm. Uh, lightning strikes, hail can certainly damage uh, the airframe, uh, and in, in the extreme cases, there can be so much liquid precipitation in that thunderstorm that it'll cause a jet engine to flame out. The meteorologists here understand the danger of thunderstorms. 